You right guys, it's Game Boy Luke here. Welcome back to our Pokemon Vault White All Star Elimination Lock. In the previous episode, we got lost. Basically, got lost. I had no idea where I was going. We got lost in this stupid ass twisted mountain place thing. And I just. The whole last episode was like a clusterfuck of mess because I didn't know where I was going. It didn't get much done. And I want to apologize for that. But in this episode, I actually realized before recording this that I've said like several on several occasions, you know, I. I have done, I've played through this game once, but I hadn't. I, the only game I've played through is Black 2, so up to this point, I honestly have no idea where I'm going. Which is why I was confused, because I thought I should know where I'm going, because I've done this game before, I played the original Black. But I actually sold my game after I got to like the 6th gym, which is why the rest of this is a complete shroud of darkness, I have no idea where I'm going. Um, but I honestly don't know what we're going to be doing in this episode, we have Mo and Rotom here, I'm going to put Rotom. I know, Rotom's good, Rotom's fine there actually. Um, but, what are these guys doing? These guys are way too happy. Spin apart, mix and twirl. Spin, spin, turn and spin. You're way too happy, way too happy. Dance, dance, two dragons. What about you, what do you have to say? Mix it up, day and night, cause today everything's all right. Damn, those bars. And you know what, I'm actually gonna fuck you up right now. Cause I'm gonna stand here, so you guys are all just walking into each other and then I'm gonna let you go, look at you. Screwed you up now. Did I, wait, it fixes, it fixes itself, what the hell? Broken, whatever. All right, I'm gonna get this. Uh, this item here is rare candy, which is hella useful. And what's here? Fans of everything Pokemon. The Pokemon fan club. I bet. And is this the gym? Oh, so I guess in this episode we're gonna be doing the gym, the seventh gym. Now this is probably one of the gyms I feel pretty confident about, just because um, we have Nifty. And Nifty, why do you have to go? Oh, this. Okay. 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 Cool. Cool. So like, what do you have? Nifty's gonna be like the one Pokemon in this gym that's gonna bop everything just because he has like Brick Break. <laughs> fighting types do not, Ice types do not appreciate fighting types. I'm, I need to find out what kind of level they are. So this probably level 56. So that's probably gonna put the gym leader at like level 60 or something. And, and with all the trainer battles in here, maybe I'll be able to get Nifty level 70. Maybe just before 70. So Nifty himself will be able to uh, destroy Destroy this gym, but obviously the last gym we had which was a single battle was like clay um, So this isn't like a one-man thing and it never will be a one-man thing It could be a triple battle for all I know it could be a double battle It could be a rotation battle if I prefer it to be single or rotation Because this whole team is full of ice types and it's rotation battle. We, we bop them easily um, If it was triple battle I don't know how I'd honestly feel about that because I didn't do quite well in the last real battle we had and I want to go through a gym match without losing a team member. If I'm completely honest with you guys. Um, this Brick Break is going to destroy this Mammoth Spine. Let's check my lighting. Um, I just don't need this. What are we doing? Um, so as you can see there, those Ice Herbs got absolutely wrecked by Nifty. Nifty gives no fucks. No flex. Zown. Alright, so... Push this, which turns this, and I'm gonna be able to do some crazy ass dance. It's the next trainer. The only problem I can see in this gym right now is the fact that I've got to. Uh, I've only got 15 PP for Brick Break, and I guarantee that all the trainers are gonna bop me out of my PP anyway. And what I like about Scrafty is that Scrafty uh, ha is really good type, has really good type coverage for Ice types because a lot of Ice types have a uh, dual type, so they're dual type with water. So Brick Break sorts those out. There's uh, Weaver, which is Ice and Dark, which is quite, so that's, uh, makes quite effective. Um, there's Ice Ghost, like Frostlass, which is Ice and Ghost. So I say, yeah, Weaver, Ice, Dark. This uh, Frostlass is Ice Ghost, which I can crunch on. So that's not a problem. Um, I'm trying to think of other Pokemon. That uh, Ice Dual type. Uh, Deli Bird, Ice Flying type. That's the one Pokemon I don't have anything for. So I've got to watch out for Deli Bird, because Deli Bird hits me. That's gonna hurt because acrobatics. And I know how much of a buff it got in this game. So if I do encounter a uh, Deli Bird, that's gonna be uh, a bit of a problem. I mean, I could switch into Rotom on Deli Bird because if he goes for acrobatics, like uh, Rotom can just come out and shut wave that thing. And might I remind you guys, the next city we go to, we get a chance to change Rotom's form finally. So he's gonna get a massive buff, and it'd be some really, it'd be really, really useful. Jinx, there you go, Ice Psychic type. We can use Crunch on that. So trace my Moxie Boost, new meta, Moxie Boost, uh, well, the Jinx. <laughs> Must have got your name for a second there. But no, yeah, I can't wait to get Rotom 
I can't wait to get Rotom Wash. I really care. We're gonna have some sort of immunity to Ghost. Um, we're gonna have an immunity. I think it gives us a Grass Weakness, but it also gives us. I'm just trying to think what else resistance it gives. It gives us a Water Resistance. It gives us a Fire Resistance, which is useful. It gives us a Steel Resistance. I mean, we already, we already have a Steel Resistance because of uh, Nifty. What other resistance does it give us? Ice. So it could be useful here. Um, what else? Give me a sec. <laughs> I'm still ill. So this make me- it's such an issue. Such an issue being sick! And actually, being sick is my excuse to everything. I'm just like... I'm just like, I'm just like, Luke, come downstairs! No, I'm too ill. No. Luke, go to work! No, I'm too ill. Luke, you take dogs for a walk? No! I'm too ill, mum, leave me alone. Luke, go to bed! No! Nah, I'm too ill to sleep. Too ill to sleep. <laughs> Alright. So I'm already running out of Brit Breaks, so I'm almost down to like half of them already. But this is a great experience for Nifty, I'll, I'll give you I'll give it that. Espion, I don't think it's gonna be very useful in this. It could use power gem. But considering it's not stab or anything, I don't particularly feel it's gonna be too good. Um, and saying that, Espion is quite frail. I mean it could take special hits. You can take special hits, but... Actually, I'm gonna compare the two. Because if this is like some sort of... If it, just in case this is like... I just wanna... I wanna be careful which order I put my Pokemon in. Because if, it's, if it is a double battle, or if it is a triple battle, I need to re I need to figure out which Pokemon will be better on each side. Because last time I had like Shady... I had Scrafty on the right. And Espeon on the left, I think. Or oh, Espeon was in the middle. So it'd be best to think about like the best. And obviously Scrafty has to go up front. Like he can be he can sit in the middle. Because he can take hits, so it's better to have him like up up front and then have like I feel like Rotom would be better off on I just don't know which order it goes in. Like, does your second Pokemon go left or does it go right? I feel like it's like the front is first, the left is second, and the right is third. But I might be wrong. In any case, I feel like maybe roll time would be better on the left because if we have anything happen, like we need to discharge or anything, I know because I know a lot of ice type Pokemon are dual type water. So if I have roll time on the left and he can discharge, uh, I'm not going to hit SBR, I'm not going to paralyze the SBR, and I'm not going to screw myself over and paralyze myself again twice because I paralyzed myself twice. Did I go the right way there? No, I didn't. Okay, what the hell? Uh, this way, this way, this way. Okay, okay, there we go. I actually give you a hint there with that fork in the road. Or that, that scrape in the ice. But no, yeah, so if I have Rotom on the left, so if I have Scrafty and Rotom, um, and then Espeon at the back, just in case. And then if, it, if it's low battle, then I've got Rotom and Scrafty out, which isn't too bad, I guess. Uh, Rotom's quite... Let me check their stats real quick. Who's got more special defense? You have 152, you have 132, but you have better physical defense. You have pretty even physical defense and special defense, Rotom. Which probably makes it better for you. And you're quicker. You have less special attacks, so you can't hit as hard, but you do have the chance to paralyze with discharge. Although that does hit me as well. I just realized discharge hits me as well. Um Rotom or Espeon? I think I'm just gonna leave that as is. I, it, what was the last one? The last one was a triple battle. The one before that was a single battle. So either this is going to be rotation or, or double. But then again, it is Drayano, and I can't predict Drayano, so I have no idea. Because I didn't check the documentation or anything. I have no idea what he's going to lead off with. So. So, anyways. Okay. Okay. All rain. All rain, bruh. All rain, bruh. All rain, bruh. This thing's bulky as hell, but it's about to catch this Brit Break and get wrecked. Ah. Alright. Alrighty then. Okay. Now, the, th the thing, I guess one thing I may be scared of is the ability evasion cloak. Snow cloak. Snow cloak is a thing. Um, and it, I think it's, uh, I'm trying to think of Pokemon that, I don't actually remember any Pokemon that get it. Um, but it's an ability, it's like, Garchomp's Sand Cloak. Is it Sand... I don't know, I don't know what his one is. It's not Sand Cloak. It's something like that. Um, sand Stream, Sand Veil, Sand Veil. Um, that allows... It boosts his evasiveness in the snow. 
which is a bitch, because oh, he the one in sand the one in sandstorm sorry increases his um increases his wait where am I going from here? Where do I go from here? Do I go across? Okay, there we go. Um, increases his evasiveness in the sand, and then obviously the one in the snow increases evasiveness in the snow. And I just realized I don't have Shockwave on Rotom anymore. Hold on, do we have the TM for Shockwave? Or did he learn it? We don't have it, do we? Ah, shit. Can anyone learn U-Turn? Because that would be kind of useful. Like, I can switch between the two, but I can Um... Sky drop is the flying type move. Ain't nobody gonna be able to learn that. Uh, smack down, telekinesis. I should be okay. I guess I should be feeling more confident about this one than other gyms because we have Scrafty, but at the same time, I'm still really worried because every time I've gone into a gym battle confident, it's always come back to bite me and it's, I can't be dealing with this, this stress. <laughs> I need a frost lass. Now this thing shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, cause I can crunch it. Um, but I do have- I do have a ghost type weakness on my team. Because Blizzard- If it's a triple battle, do- does Blizzard hit all three Pokemon? Cause that could also be an issue. That could also be- that's actually a big issue in double battle as well. Like if they just come out, get the uh, the hail up somehow, and then Blizzard me. That's gonna hurt. You're fast, Cryogon. What the hell? I kind of want to get a Dragon Dance off, you know, to start this um, to start it off with. Oh, we break through. Not bad. There we go. Hey, there we go. GG. Hey, Tar. Goodbye. Bah. There we go. Maybe I should leave with Espeon. I kind of want to leave with Espeon now. Thinking about it. Because Espeon has more special defense, which, what Ice type Pokemon, I just use Dragon Dance, what am I doing? What Ice type Pokemon has physical type moves? Like, maybe Weavile? Oh, I don't know what to pick as my second Pokemon. Breakthrough. Thank you. I'm really scared. If I, I'll, be, I'll be pleasantly surprised if this is a single battle and not a triple or double battle, to be honest with you. I would be pleasantly surprised because those battles, uh, single battles, are so much easier to do because I just all I have to do is like sweep with Nifty. That's all I have to do. I think I just ran out of brick breaks right there, so I'm gonna have to use uh, an ether, ether, ether. Okay, max ether. Uh, actually, no, let's use max when I'm. I'm pretty sure I have an ether in here. There we go. I might give him some hold items as well. Instead of the lucky egg. Once I get there, we'll we'll, we'll sort out hold items because it's. It, <laughs> I shouldn't really go into Draeano um, fights without hold items, just because um, Draeano has made the team so that they're competitive based. So walking in with a standard team, like an in-game team, just puts you at such a huge disadvantage. So he's gonna go, he's gonna go into Delhi. Now, this is what I'm scared of. If this thing has like acrobatics or some shit, I mean, I'm, I'm like, what, almost level 70. So, he's used Blizzard. Okay, so that shouldn't do too much to me, because I'm pretty sure uh, Daddy Bird's got more physical attack. Okay. Then more than I thought it was going to do. And, Daddy Bird's like a glass cannon in this game. His stats and stuff have been boosted, but his defense stats stayed the same. That's me level 70. Oh, there we go. So, I tell you what would be useful right now. Glaceon. Glaceon's a Pokemon that can learn. Snow Cloak. Um, I tell you what would be useful right now. Uh, that would be Rotom Heat. If I could overheat everything and we get an, uh, an ice type. Do you know what? Actually, I might get Rotom Heat instead of Rotom Wash. Because I get so many more resistances. I got resistance to grass. Uh, actually, that gives, like, gives me a weakness to water, though. Do I want a weakness to water? Can I afford a weakness to water? I don't think there's any water Pokemon trainers or gym leaders or Elite Four members left. I don't know. I don't know what the Elite Four members have. I know Iris is a champion. Or is that in Black 2? I need to... I don't even know what the types are. That's how bad it is. Okay. Oh, I think that's the last trainer to fight. Well, it looks things that looks like the final stairway. Uh, head this way, head this way. Land on this, walk forward. Okay, so that's the... <sighs> okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. So we have a quick claw. Uh, I'm gonna give that to Scrafty because him attacking first is always useful. Uh, it may make foes and allies flinch when the holder inflicts damage. Just like King's Rock. It's like King's Rock. That could be useful. I'll give that to you, Rotom. Uh, yeah, that's another one. King's Rock, Max Power, Lucky Egg. Smoke Ball, Spell Tag, Powers that boost Ghost type moves. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. X Defend, X Speed. Um, what berries do I have? Cherry, Chesto, Pecha, Asper, and Yash. Oh, it weakens Ice Type. Oh, super effective. Should I give Cherry Berry to Mo? Just in case it does come. <coughs> Excuse me. In case it does come out to be like Rotom and Espeon, I can, I can a triple battle situation, then I can at least cure him. All right, so let's give. I'm actually really nervous. Cause all the other gym battles have been bitches to do. I'm still deciding whether or not I should bring Espeon second or not, because this could mean this could mean everything. Uh, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check my TMs. Do I have light screen? I don't have light screen, do I? Because I could give that to Espeon, that'd be so useful. Uh, we're gonna give a Mo, I think. I might give it a rare candy before you go in. Just to uh, boost them. How many have we got? We got one left, okay. I'm gonna give that to you, let's get you up a level. Um, I think the best thing I can do really is set up a Dragon Dance, uh, get my speed up and then sweep. But I don't know if this is, this is a triple or double battle, then he's gonna... Bryson, you look pretty cool, dude. Uh, he's gonna easily just pop the Pokemon I'm chilling with. Chilling with, get it? So he does have... Okay, so this is what I expected. A Bomber Snow is gonna set the Snow Warning and Glaceon's got the um, Icicle, the freaking thingy cloak, Snow Cloak thing, so his evasiveness is increased. I'm gonna go straight for a Dragon Dance. And then Mo. You're gonna go for a. What's, po what's power gems power? What is power gems damage? Uh, power gem does ninety. So that should should kill Glaceon, surely. Let's go for a power gem with Glaceon. So I'm gonna go for that straight up. It's really quick actually. So I guess I'm gonna kill it. It's got Shadow Ball. Oh God. Okay, so I told like, it's not stab. Nifty's gonna get the Dragon Dance off. Now he's he's prepped and ready to go. Nifty's prepped and ready to go. Focus Blast! Ouch! 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 Okay, I didn't do as much as I thought I was gonna do. And the the hail is gonna be such a huge problem in this battle. Okay. Um. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna brick break a Bomber Snow. I could kill Glaceon right here. If I miss this power gem, Mo dies. That's not a risk I want to take. Um, if I can kill both of them now. Okay, okay, I, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. What we'll do, what we'll do is I'm going to brick break the Glaceon. And then Mo is going to heal up. Wait, no, because if I miss the brick break. Oh, Glaceon, you're such an issue. You're going to kill one of me. I want to Brick Break the Abomber Snow. All right, Brick Break the Abomber Snow. And then I'm going to Hyper Potion uh, Espeon. So I can take another Shadow Ball. No, I I, oh, no. I thought I Hyper Potion on my Pokemon. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, he used a Hyper Potion as well. He wasted his Hyper Potion on his Glaceon. That's put me at a really good advantage now because Espeon's at full HP. That brick break should kill the air bomber snow. Thank you. And now he's used his um he used his high potion up. Get the moxie boost on my plus two now. Um and Mo's at full HP. So now I can use this turn to heal Nifty back to full health. He's gonna bring in bear tick. Okay, that's that's great. That's perfect. That is great. That's perfect. That's marvelous. I'm gonna brick break the bear tick. And I'm now gonna go ahead and heal. Actually, I could probably. No, I can't kill I can't kill Glaceon, can I? Alright, so let's heal Nifty. Let's heal Nifty. 
Let's get him out. Now what I can do is break, break the bear tick, because he's gone. That's a dead bear tick. Um, I need to get rid of this Glaceon. This Glaceon is, uh, poses uh, some sort of threat to me, and I don't like it. He had the Moxie boost, so Scrafty is going in right now. Um, okay, so if you have another Shadow Ball, just don't get a crit. If you get a crit, I will cry. Okay, we're good. We're good. I can't rely on this crit. What's your Electro? Frostlass! Oh my god, too... Shit, that's not good. They both have Slow Cloak as, Snow Cloak as well. Uh, you're gonna get stabbed, Frostlass, so I need to get rid of you first. And I need to Hyper Potion Espeon again. Having a Ghost type weakness is not good. They both have Shadow Ball. If I'm fa I should be faster than this thing now, and I should be able to hit it with a... <sighs> okay, so I know Scrafty's not the fastest Pokemon. Right, so I crunch the Frostlass. That's dead. Glaceon's gonna go for a Shadow Ball on me. It's getting so dark. You can barely see me. Uh, Alright, level 71. Please don't get a crit. 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 Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Vanillax. Okay, well... You don't look like a particularly threatening Pokemon right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna brick break the Glaceon and get rid of that. And high potion up Espeon again. My heart is pumping right now. All these shadow, all these ghost type moves and shit. Alright, you're dead. Okay, so that's you out of the way. I have to worry about you shadow balling Mo anymore. Get the fuck out of here, Glaceon. <sighs> okay. Dude, you know, I'm gonna turn the light on. This is this is intense, dude. It's intense. It's intense. I can't be dealing with this. Alright, so you have a blizzard. Does that get boosted in the ice, in the hail? Does it get boosted? Apparently so. Fuck, that did a lot of damage. Um, Cryogonal? <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go... Oh, shit. Uh, Mo is gonna die. 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 I don't know what to do here. I could heal up, but they're just going to go for blizzards. Both of them are going to go for blizzards. Someone is going to lose their life here. Cryogonal, I think Cryogonal is stronger. So, should I, who should I high potion? Can Nifty take a hit plus? Oh, I don't know. Who's got the more special defense? Uh, you have 195 and you have 154. Oh, fuck, I can't, believe I'm about, I can't believe I'm about to do this, but I'm, I'm going to high potion. I'm a high potion Mo. Oh, I got a quick claw boost. Not that I needed it or anything, but... I'm going to brick break the Vanillax. Get that. Oh, wait, no, I brick break the Cryogonal. Okay. I think that's more powerful. So let's get rid of that. You survived? You have a focus sash! That's game. That's game over. Turns out I could survive the blizzard. It got a critical hit on me. Uh, I mean, I might survive this one as well, but the hail will finish me up. No, it's going to kill both of them. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He has a focus sash. He had a focus sash. He had a focus sash. <laughs> he had a focus sash. Oh my god, he had a focus sash. I should have killed the Vanillax. That's gonna kill me. You got a crit, didn't you? That wasn't even a crit! Wow. So it looks like this game... It looks like this game beat me again. Even with the best Pokemon I could possibly get, it looks like this game has beaten me again. Holy shit, I don't even know what to say. This isn't over, Blaze Black. Volt White and Blaze Black. I failed them both. Oh my god. I will be back. 
And I swear to God, I will be back. Fuck. This game, dude. Oh, I'm gutted. I literally am gutted. I don't know what to do. That's another lock type I lost. No. Please, like, so hard. I'm not ready yet. Clearly, I'm not ready yet. So, I guess that's the end of this series. Uh, I'm sorry if you guys are upset with me for losing that, but that is ridiculous. That is such a hard... This is so hard to play, especially when you only have like 12 Pokemon. Um, but I will definitely revisit Blaze Black and Vault White in the future for my third time at trying to beat this game. But if you have enjoyed this series, please do go ahead and leave a rating and a comment as it does, it does support the channel and the series in the video. And I guess I will see you uh, in another video because we're not going to be playing Vault White again for a while. <sighs> see you guys then.